We're all at college together. That is rank. What do you expect, Chanel number five? Uh, being a young person in these small towns must be a bit frustrating at times. Police could be crawling my feds. There's not a huge amount to do, and I think it's a sort of twiddling thumbs moment. Is there a monster? Is there a monster? Evie's dad works on the boats looking for the monster. John Joe's dad working in an abattoir, and we went, hang on, we could have a bit of fun there. John Joe. <laughs> in the first week, we were at the north of the loch filming the scenes with the fake plesiosaur. We were in this like beautiful landscape. Just feel as though you're being enveloped by the, the scenery and the mountains and, and the loch itself. How's it looking? The tail needs to be longer. There's a lot of time where it's kind of twilighty, sort of not quite dark, not quite light. Everything's so still and so quiet. I hear something. Oh, is it the feds? <laughs> it's hard not to let your imagination just run wild. It's quite creepy, actually. And creating this, like, monster. Bags and bags of, like, awful... I don't, I don't even know what it was. The, the plesiosaur is made up of a variety of different animals. There are all kinds of health and safety rules and regulations. The yak bones are particularly big. They've got to be completely clinically cleaned. So when I would go to the prop store, there was a terrible smell. You think this is a crime scene? Of boiling bones and gristle. The boys then designed and built this skeleton that's 20 odd feet long. Paint effects to, to create uh, gristle and such like. We filmed on it during the daylight hours and the following day we're filming on it at night. It was too big and too complicated to take it away, so we put tape around it, we put security guard on it overnight. And unfortunately for us, a dog walker arrived in the morning, not knowing that it was a film set, and looked at this thing and the, it was in the newspaper headlines, Nessie's dead. <laughs> the Loch Ness Monster is dead. Initially, when my daughter does the prank, it, it's annoying and I tell her off um, and it's embarrassing. Later on, we find out that there was actually a human heart that had been left, presumably by the serial killer, inside the plesiosaur. I'd estimate it was removed a week to ten days ago. Brains, hearts, what next, Danny? <laughs> <laughs>